What's going on everybody? So today we will be brewing the Kenya Grapefruit Champagne. It's our newest edition here at Pit Stop. And I want to show you how to brew a very easy recipe on the AeroPress Coffee Brewer. So let's get to it. So we're going to start weighing 20 grams of coffee beans. And you're going to want to grind them on a medium coarse setting. I have a Commandante grinder here with me. What we really like is about 28 clicks on this grinder. All right, so now what we're going to do is rinse our filter paper, cold water to take out the papery taste. It doesn't matter what water, or what temperature you do this with. And the most important part is we're going to take our fingers and pop out these air bubbles in here. So we get a nice, even coffee bed and a nice, even extraction. So once that's looking nice and flat, we'll set it off to the side. All right, so you're gonna take your air press, put it all the way in, pull it back until you hit that number four. Now let's put the coffee in. So this recipe works really well as an iced coffee. Kenyans are great for that. This recipe is really good for that. So I'll show you how to do that. But if you don't want an iced coffee and you'd like it hot, you don't have to add ice or anything, just keep the variables the same. So because I'm making an iced coffee, I'm just going to add a few pieces of ice inside of my end cup or decanter. I've got about three pieces of ice in here. Uh, it's just enough to cool it down a little bit and then we will ice it at the end. I've got my water ready. We like using Lotus Coffee Water Simple and Sweet recipe with this brew. Although third wave uh, water works just great too, as well as perfect coffee water mineral packets. Um, if you'd like, you could also dilute it by about 10 to 20%. That'll lead for more brightness, more acidity pops. All right, so we will be brewing with a water temperature of 194 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what we really like for this Kenyan coffee. Feel free to explore. This recipe works great at those lower temperatures. All right. So we will be pouring in 200 milliliters of water all at one time. So let's get to it. I'll rotate the brewer to grab every dry piece of coffee, and then I'll pour aggressively in the center and hold it there until 200. And give that a few stirs, however you wanna do it. And once you're done stirring, put the cap with the filter paper on top and we'll leave it there until two minutes. All right, it's been two minutes. So what we'll do is we'll gently flip this over on top of our mug or server and press it down for about 20 to 30 seconds. Not too hard, but give it a decent amount of pressure. I poured that over some ice cubes, so I will give it a stir just to melt all those cubes. There's about three in there. And now what we'll do is put a ice block inside of our drinking cup and simply pour over. And if you're brewing this coffee hot, I like to add about 30 milliliters to dilute it a little bit to get more of that cleanliness, more of that acidity. However, if you like a lot of body or like a little bit of milk in your coffee or sugar, 
um, I wouldn't dilute it and keep it the way it is. All right, cheers. That's really good.